In this lesson, we will see the method to create a typical three panel window. But before we create the window, we will see the various objects in a window and the dimensions of these objects. In a window, basically there are three objects. There is window frame, then there are panels or shutters inside the frame, then there is window glass inside each panel. Now let's see the dimensions of these objects. The width of the window frame is 6 cm. The thickness of the window frame is 10 cm. Thickness is the surface that is going inside. Similarly, shutter frame has a width of 8 cm. And the shutter thickness is 2.5 cm or 1 inch. Now you are familiar with various objects in a window. Let's make this window using AutoCAD. Before we make the window, we have to turn on only those selected layers and other layers can be kept in the frozen state. So I'll go to uh, Layer Properties Manager. Then I'll select layers uh, from doors and windows to walls. Then I'll give freeze. I'll freeze all these layers. Okay, now I'll keep only those layers which starts with 3D. Now, I'll create uh, uh, some new layers as and when required. Okay, now I'll just close this dialog box. I would like to uh, start with the profile of the window. And that profile can be kept in the same layer as that of 3D door frame because the window frame and the door frame is going to share the same material. So, I'll start with the polyline. Now I'll trace the boundary here. Now I'll give an offset command and uh, I have to give uh, the width of the frame. The offset distance is equal to the width of the frame. Width of the frame as we have seen before is 6 centimeters. So I'll give 6 and I'll uh, select the object to offset and I'll pick the side to offset. So I have made two profiles. Now we have to extrude these profiles through a distance equal to the thickness of the frame. And we have seen that the thickness of the frame is uh, 10 units. So it has to be taken uh, in the negative z axis direction. So you have to give minus 10. So it has got a thickness. Now when you give shade or hide, uh, you can see that you have two overlapping boxes. So you have to perform a subtraction operation and just give SU for subtract and you select the outer box and just give an enter and select the inner box and enter. Now you can see that you have made an outer frame. Okay, now we have to make the partition frames. Since this is a three panel window, there will be two partition frames. So in order to get the proper division, uh, you have to uh, start with a polyline here. Okay, then I'll pick a point here. And this polyline we will divide into three equal parts. Now before you divide it, you have to extend these two lines and points, okay, through half the distance of the frame width. Because the frame width is uh, six centimeter, so the half the distance is three centimeter. So we'll give three centimeter. Uh, this side we will just extend it. So we have actually performed a grip editing. You know what's grip editing. So just click here, you will get an active grip and turn the cursor in the desired direction and you type the distance. It has moved. I have to perform a similar extension operation in the other side. So just I'll select this line and you have got the grip and you select the grip and you just take the cursor in this direction, just point it in this direction. Now you have to type the value which is 3. Now we do this extension to get a proper even division. Okay, so now I'll perform divide command. So just give divide. I'll give divide and you select this uh, line that is to be divided. Now we have to give, it'll ask you for the number of segments. I'll give number of segments as three. Okay, now when you give divide command, you can see that the software places points along the length of this line. Sometimes by default, you won't see these points appearing because by default, a point is displayed as a dot in AutoCAD. And whenever you want to change the point display representation, you have to give a command called DDP type. DDP type. 
and you will uh, see various representations and you can just uh, take any desired representation for example if i want i can switch over to this representation and just give an okay i'll the, you can see that the representation changes now i have to draw lines to indicate uh, partitions so i'll just give polyline i'll start from this point okay i'll be able to get this point only when the node option in object snap is on in object snap you can see that there is an option called node okay this option is meant to uh, snap on to or to catch those points which are obtained in autocad so i'll just snap onto this point i've got this point you know now i'll just draw a perpendicular to this line i've got that line there now i can give offset command and i should give an offset of 3 units which is half the frame width Uh, to both sides i'll give uh, select object as this and side as this select object as this and side as this through so uh, three unit it is offsetted in both sides hence i have got a total frame width of six units now you can just uh, erase this uh, line because it's no longer required uh, now i'll connect these two end points using another polyline okay now i'll give p edit command i have to join this into a single profile then only i'll be able to extrude it so i'll give p edit and i'll select this polyline then i can go to join option and i'll select this line and this line and i'll just give close to close it so i've closed it now you can see that i've got a single profile uh, now this is this can be readily extruded so i'll give extrude command when i am asked to give height of extrusion the thickness of extrusion it is minus 10 now i can copy this object onto the side onto this particular position so i'll give copy and i'll select this partition frame then i'll give base point as this node and second point is again this node because since the node is activated in osnap uh, you can readily cast this point now you got two partitions now we have drawn a construction line here for division purpose and we have two nodes here all these uh, objects can be erased so i'll give an erase command and i'll make use of a standard window to perform the erasure operation now i have got uh, outer frame as well as partition frame and these objects can be combined as a single object uh, by giving the union command so i give union boolean operation and i'll select this and these two frames just give an enter now you can see that you have made uh, the first object in the window which is the frame next object is the window shutter so since the window shutter is also uh, going to share the same material of finish as that of the frame you don't have to create any layers now i'll trace the polyline profile over here which is the profile for the shutter i'll connect these end points and i'll just give close now this is the profile which is traced now i'll give offset command and i should offset it through a distance of the width of the shutter and we have seen that the width is 8 cm so i'll give 8 as the offset distance and i'll select the object to offset and the side to offset now i have to perform a normal extrusion so i'll give extrude i'll select both these profiles and i should give an extrusion equal to the thickness of the shutter and we have seen that the thickness is 2.5 cm so since it is in the negative as a direction it has to be minus 2.5 so i give minus 2.5 now you have to when you shade it you can see that uh, you have two boxes which are overlapping to get the realistic uh, frame effect you have to perform a subtraction so i'll give subtract and i'll select the outer and give enter and select the inner one and give another enter now we have made the shutter frame this is the frame for the shutter next we will create a vertical member and a number of horizontal members inside the shutter that actually supports the glass so for that i'll start with the polyline from this mid to perpendicular or to mid to this mid then i'll just give offset command and i'll give an offset distance of 1.5 to both sides because this vertical member width is 
3 cm. So I took 1.5 to both sides. Now you can just connect these two endpoints using another polyline. Now I'll go to pedit command and I'll select this polyline. Then I'll go to join option and I'll select this polyline as well as this one. Okay, now these three segments are single segment. You have got a message and uh, you have to give close here. I'll give close to connect the bottom end points. Now you can see that it is a single closed profile. Now this can be readily extruded. So I'll give extrude command and the height of extrusion is 2.5 units. Now you can see that you have made a vertical member. Okay, now we have to create a number of horizontal members. For that, you have to uh, give a divide command and uh, you have to select this line which you have drawn first to draw this vertical member and it will ask you for the number of segments. I will give 5 as the number of segments. Now you can see that it has placed points along its length. Now you have to, you can draw a horizontal member here, a horizontal line here in fact, a polyline I have drawn. Okay. Now I'll move this polyline uh, and base point is this and the second point is this node which is appearing here. So you can select this as the second point. Okay. Now you have to again uh, give offset 1.5 to both sides. Select object to offset, side to offset, then object and side. Now erase this center line. Now you can just uh, draw polylines connecting these two endpoints. In fact steps are rather similar. Now just give P edit and select this. Then go to join option, select this polyline as well as this one. Now you can just give a close. Okay. Now we can see that you have made a single profile. Now you can extrude it. And and height of extrusion is 2.5. Okay. Now you have made a horizontal member. These horizontal members can be copied to other locations. So I'll go to copy and I'll select this. Base point is this node, second point is this node, this one and this one. Now you can erase these nodes as well as that vertical line which you have drawn first because you don't need any unwanted lines in your drawing. Okay. Now this vertical member as well as the horizontal member is the part of the shutter. So you can just give a union operation. And you can select this shutter frame and this vertical member as well as all the horizontal members. And you can say that you have made a single object. Now we have come to the last element of the window, which is the window glass. Since the window glass is going to have a totally different material, which is the glass finish, we have to create that object in a different layer. So I'll go to layer properties manager and I'll go to, I'll create a new layer. And I'll call that layer name as 3D Win Glass. Okay. And for that layer, I'll give a color, which is a bluish tint I'll give. Okay. Now I have to make that as the current layer. So I'll just click on current layer. So that is made as a current layer. Now I'll go to polyline. I have to actually position the glass the midway at the shutter width. So I'll start from here at the mid of this thickness. Then I can come to this point and I can come down to this point and I'll just give a close. In fact, even if the glass has got a slight thickness, you don't have to create that thickness. Instead, you can just uh, give a zero thickness for this. Only thing is you need a surface uh, to indicate the glass. So I'll give a region command because you know in AutoCAD region command can give you a surface out of a closed boundary. So I've made a region. Now you can just shade it. You can see that you have made a surface there. Okay. Now here the a problem is uh, the window shutter and the frame are in the same plane. So when you apply the same finish uh, these two objects will get merged and you won't be able to make out the difference between the planes. Even if they are in the same plane, just to distinguish uh, these two objects, it is better to move uh, the shutter through a slight distance inward. Uh, say I'll give move through a distance of say 2.5.
centimeter. So let's do that. So I'll go to move command and I'll select this shutter and the glass base point I'll pick over here and I'll give a distance of say 2.5. Now you can give a shade and you can make out the difference between these two objects because they are in a total two different planes. Now let's copy the same shutter onto the other positions. So I'll just give copy and I'll select the shutter and the glass. I'll select this as the base point and I'll select this as the second point. You have to choose the corresponding points. Okay. Now you can just shade it and we have completed the window, three panel window. Now you can also move the entire window inward along the cutout of the wall uh, just as you have done for the door to uh, feel the recess of the wall. That means a little bit of wall can be exposed. That will also add to the depth of uh, the 3D work. So what I'll do is I'll just give move command and I'll select the base point as this and second point as this. So the entire window is moved inward along the cutout of the wall and you can shade it. So this recess will give you a more realism. So this is how you make a window in AutoCAD 3D. But in fact, we have several other locations wherein windows in different dimensions are to be inserted. Uh, you have to uh, stick to the same procedure to create windows in these respective locations. By the time you complete this, your model will appear like this. So uh, you have uh, windows in different locations. Okay, so you can make a try. All the best.